Hey everyone, today we're looking at the killers of Dead by Daylight and trying to see what they may have been inspired by. This is an update on the original video, but now with all of your comments in mind and put into the mix. Last video we outlined that Trapper greatly resembles the Friday the 13th character of Jason Voorhees, with his mask potentially being inspired by Babyface from the film The Hills Run Red. Further suggestions you guys pointed out were the killer from My Bloody Valentine, as both are minors prior to becoming killers, Kane from See No Evil, and The Collector. It's speculated Wraith is inspired by the Grim Reaper, or that kind of imagery, with some inspiration from woodland creatures potentially, maybe like an Entune mix. And finally on Predator, due to the stealth features and tracking related power, with one of his perks being called Predator also. Some of your suggestions were inspirations from Dante's Inferno, The Hollow, Dracula, Phantom of the Opera, The Invisible Man, and possibly some voodoo legend. For Hillbilly, I said last time he was based on Leatherface or Bubba Sawyer from the Texas Chainsaw Massacre films. However, you guys outlined some much better relations, the main ones being from The Hills Have Eyes and also Wrong Turn. Nurse is probably based on the nurses from Silent Hill, I think this was pretty much agreed on within the comments, but some other ideas were the nurse, La Llorona, and the hanging woman from 13 Ghosts. The shape is based on Michael Myers from the original 1978 Halloween. Hag is probably based on the Canadian folklore version of the Wendigo. There were some other ideas too, such as the witch from Pumpkinhead. The Blair Witch was a big one also, with the connection of the symbols especially. The Birch, which actually just came out in game, left for dead witches, and hags from Dungeons and Dragons. Doctor is likely based on this real life case of a doctor attempting to cure internet obsessed kids in his clinic with use of electroshock therapy. His clinic, much like Larry's, was more like a prison. There were also relations in the comments made to the dentist, Dr. Giggles, and the surgeon from Hellraiser. A lot of people mentioned inspiration also for his background from the MK Ultra projects. Huntress is inspired by different Russian and European folklore such as the Baba Yaga, as well as stories of people living out in forests, or potentially some form of werewolf. I was also corrected that this perk was a bear and not a wolf. Some great correlations were made also to Your Next, Holidays, Jackals, and Pet Cemetery. Bubba is based on Leatherface or Bubba Sawyer from the original 1974 The Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Nightmare Again is just based on a film, which is the 2010 reimagining of A Nightmare on Elm Street's Freddy Krueger. The Pig or Amanda Young is based on her appearances from Saw 123, seemingly a combination from all of the films. The Clown is likely based on real life occurrences with similar things happening happening, you guys further mentioned the House of 1000 Corpses and Spawn. Potentially also the Joker, just power wise, mainly because of his bottles and the gas and whatnot. Spirit is likely based on the Onryo, which literally translates to Vengeful Spirit from Japanese. Some movies referenced in the comments were The Ring and The Grudge, however these are likely also based on the Onryo, potentially the Mama movie too. There are many many ideas for the Legion's inspiration, some of them being The Purge, Sunny Family, Family Cult, The Strangers, Jeff the Killer, Happy Death Day, or Behaviour's take on Scream's Ghostface. Plague is likely simply based on a priestess from ancient Babylonia, or what many people mentioned was that Behaviour likely wanted to get a general mummy design. Also mentioned were The Mummy and The Demon from The Exorcist, likely due to the plague or sickness element. Ghosty is an odd combination of different versions of Ghostface from Scream, but also some originality from Behaviour taking the Ghostface mask and then inspiration from the screen films for an original Ghostface character. Demogorgon is based on its Stranger Things Season 1 iteration. Onis are from Japanese folklore. The word Oni when translated is something like demon or ogre. Slinger is potentially based on a preacher character named Saint of Killers or Doc Brown in Back to the Future Part 3 as a genius inventor. You will also mention Jeepers Creepers, Alone in the Dark 3, House 2, and some big ones were Micah Bell from Red Dead Redemption 2, and also Caleb from the game Blood. Executioner. Pyramid Head is his Silent Hill 2 iteration. Blight is based on Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. Further suggestions were Reanimator, The Village, Penguin from Batman Returns, The Cordyceps Virus from The Last of Us, also from Batman The Scarecrow, as well as The Volatiles from Dying Light. For twins, I was stumped last time on this one, but the best one I found being repeated in the comments was that of Bar 
Basket Case, also Impactor from The Dana, Caster and Pollux from God of War, and the X-Files Humbug or The Host episodes. Trickster is likely based on Jared Leto's Joker, or some ideas you came up with were Ichi the Killer, or possibly Loki as the trickster god who likes knives. Alright, well that's gonna do it. I do hope you enjoyed this quicker updated version, and thank you for all your comments. Thanks for watching, and goodbye. An additional thank you to LHPL3, as well as my other members for supporting the channel.